If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss out on another absolutely fantastic review. Enjoy! Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1962. This version of Godzilla comes from the 1962 film Godzilla vs King Kong. At this point we should all know the history of the film, if not, Check out my review of X Plus Toho 30cm series Godzilla 1962 Diamond Reissue by clicking the card on screen right now. Be sure to check out the 1962 film Godzilla vs King Kong, it is absolutely fantastic. SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1962 is another fantastic release in the SH Monster Arts line. Godzilla has a fantastic sculpt paint apps, a great accessory, and a great range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a close-up look of Godzilla himself. Godzilla has a great range of articulation. First let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right, the mouth can open up, the neck is on a very nice ball joint so we can look very high up, very far down, to the left, and to the right. Now something I've noticed about the neck it tends to pop out a little bit too easy when you're moving the head around. It's not that big of a deal, but it is something to be aware of. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. They can move in and out and come up a little bit less than 90 degrees. We have nice single jointed elbows. The elbows can swivel. The claws are on ball joints so we can tilt and spin them freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. The legs can kick forward this much, backward this much, go to the sides this much. Something we can do with the legs, we can actually kind of pop the thigh out a bit. And now Godzilla can kick up a little bit higher, backwards a little bit more, and come up to the sides just a tad bit more, which is pretty cool. We have a very nice bend in the knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. And then finally, we have Godzilla's very long and thick tail comprised of several different ball joints. And as you can see, this tail can hold its pose very well, which is definitely very cool. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Godzilla is absolutely fantastic. Now to me, it looks like this sculpt is a little stylized, but what we have here is still stunning. Starting from the top, we have our signature King Goji head sculpt. At the top of the head, we can see the very nicely detailed and textured scale pattern with a charcoal gray paint app. On some parts of the body, the scales have brownish weathering. The brow has a large angular sculpt adding to Godzilla's menacing look. The eyes are very interesting. Instead of being flatly painted, the eyes are glossy translucent layered jewels. Since the eyes are more jewel-like, when the light hits the eyes, they really stand out and give an extra bit of life to Godzilla. The mouth has a great sculpt. The teeth have a nice semi-sharp sculpt with a dull, dirty bone paint app. The gums and inner mouth have a nice flesh tone paint app. The tongue has a slightly darker flesh tone paint app. The neck has a large, bulky, muscular sculpt. We can see the deep grooves of the scales here. The chest is just as scaly with a slightly lighter gray charcoal paint app. We can see Godzilla's sternum protruding from the chest. The shoulders and arms have a large scaly sculpt. 
The claws have a simple semi-sharp sculpt. You can see some slight brownish weathering in the claws. The legs have a massive, bulky, scaly, muscular sculpt. The feet have a great large sculpt with various scaly creases and folds. The toenails have a very simple semi-sharp sculpt. Spin around to the back, we have the dorsal fins. The dorsal fins start out small from the top of the head and become larger as we go down the back. The dorsal fins have a fantastic scaly jagged sculpt. The edge of the dorsal fins have a bone white paint app that transitions to our normal charcoal gray paint app as we reach the base. As we go down the back, the dorsal fins peak and then become smaller as we reach the tail. The tail has a long, bulky, scaly, multi-segmented sculpt. The underside of the tail has a slightly smoother scaly sculpt. The dorsal fins on the top of the tail become very small and taper off once we reach the very end of the tail. For accessories, all we have is an atomic breath effect part with a great pearl white energy surging sculpt. Under certain light, it looks like this effect part has a slight metallic sheen to it. If you're an avid SH Monstars collector, then you'll notice this effect part looks pretty familiar. To set this up, plug the included Tomashi stand into the effect part and line the effect part up with Godzilla's mouth. Now for our atomic breath effect part in place, Godzilla can decimate the city. Now that we have our one accessory out of the way, let's compare our SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1962 with our X Plus Godzilla 1962 and then do some size comparisons. As a whole, Godzilla 1962 turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is great, the paint-ups are well done, we have a good accessory, and Godzilla is very poseable. The sculpt seems to be a little stylized, but it's still fantastic. The only complaint I have about this figure, it would have been nice if Godzilla came with a more fitting atomic breath effect part. It would have been really cool to maybe include some iceberg diorama parts or something to add a little bit more to this release. In the end, I'm more than happy to have this figure and I absolutely recommend picking up Godzilla 1962. Now, how much does Godzilla 1962 cost? I imported my Godzilla figure for $92, which is kind of high, but in the end, I think this release is worth it. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see more SH Monster Arts reviews or another absolutely fantastic review, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.